Hey YouTube, how's it going? I wanted to shoot this video real quick. <clears throat> I posted a EDC video a couple days ago. And I, every time I post an EDC video, I always get these pretty much the same comments as uh, this last one. Why do I carry so much crap? And uh, where do I live in a war zone? Or, you know, is there a lot of crime where I'm at? Uh, so I kind of wanted to address that today. Um, first of all, let me show you that this is my concealed weapons permit for Idaho. Okay. And, and the thing about my concealed weapons permit is here it costs a hundred dollars. <throat> it's good for five, excuse me, good for five years. They do typically a 45 day background check where it takes 45 days to get your your permit I don't know if that's because they're checking you out the entire time uh, I do know that if there's one single thing on your record uh, you will not qualify for that and the uh, every five years you have to update it renew it uh, I think that's 50 bucks. It might even be a hundred. I'm not sure. So to go through that, to pay the hundred dollars, fill out the paperwork, you're going to be fingerprinted. Uh, you know, they, they do the background check and all that. I don't, and I've had a, a concealed weapons permit for 15, almost 18 years, something like that. And I don't go through all that to leave my gun at home. Uh, in the safe, you know, I, I get that so I can carry my firearm. Now, you know, some people don't agree with that. You know, I really don't care. And to answer the question, do I live in a war zone? No, but let me tell you something about where I do live. My closest neighbor is an acre away. I, I live, you know, on a, on a fairly good sized piece, piece of property. Crime is uh, minimal. I mean, you know, we have we have, there's some gangs and stuff, but where I live, it's a small town. But here's the thing: last year, last summer, there were two uh, criminal convicts, whatever you want, prisoners that escaped from a prison in Blackfoot. And where did they go? Right there. You know, not these mountains, but the mountains near my house are um, like a mile and a half from my house. And they went into those mountains, and that's where they were caught. Now, two years ago, there were some prisoners that escaped from another prison, not in Blackfoot. Uh, but they were also caught in the Teton Mountain Range, which is very close to my house. And on their way they uh, kidnapped uh, an older couple in their RV and and held them for a few days they didn't kill them but they tied them up they robbed them and then they took off but they you know these people are hiding in the mountains near my house and if for one you're a felon I don't know what their crimes were obviously uh, they were bad enough to be in a federal prison or in a prison and they were escapees I mean you know to me escapees are desperate people and there is crime where I live so <clears throat> I don't need to live in a war zone to justify having a firearm all I need to justify owning a firearm is the possibility that that something could happen I mean you know they could Break into my house, hide out in my house, you know, hold hold us for whatever, do whatever, um, and then I do travel. So, like I said, I do, I didn't get my concealed weapons permit to leave it at home. I'm gonna carry, and then the other thing about my ADC is all the gear I carry. Now, I've explained this before that I'm kind of a gear whore. I, you know, I carry a lot. But I'm comfortable with that. I enjoy carrying that stuff. If I, I know that if I need something, it's on me. 
I don't need to go looking through my backpack. I don't need to go looking through my house. I don't need to do without in a situation. And there has been a couple situations where what I have on me has come in useful. You know, more often than not. Especially like my Leatherman. My knives I use all the time. Uh, the other stuff I just think's, think is cool. But that's me. Not everybody like, you know, uh, subscribes to that. But if I feel that if I'm comfortable wear, carrying that much stuff, that's that's what I'm comfortable with carrying. And I also subscribe to the fact that uh, the old saying that, you know, three is two, two is one, one is none. Uh, so, you know, I carry several knives. I carry whatever on me, a couple guns. Uh, but, you know, that's my choice. And for somebody to say, well, you know, my God, what do you, do you live in a war zone? Are you paranoid? Uh, is crime that bad? No, it's not. But I will be prepared for, for any, if the event arises that I need those things. So anyway, just wanted to share that. Just, you know, if, if you want to leave comments, that's fine. I don't delete any of my comments. I don't ban people from my channel. And you're welcome to your opinion. My, you know, that's just my opinion. Like I said, I didn't get this for fun. I mean, I, I got it for a reason. So I can carry my firearms legally. So, uh, that's, that's my thoughts. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Please do comment if you have any comments on this video. And uh, thumbs up, that'd be great. Thumbs down, that's fine too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you.